Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Sheck. I'm an electrical engineer by background, so actually most of my work is very much electrical based in terms of teaching and also research. So my, my main uh, research area is looking at power generation and uh, power conversion, looking at a, uh, using a power electronics interface in order to do this, and that's for uh, sustainable energy systems. So you've seen this slide before, as so I showed you. Um, uh, so this is looking at the uh, blocks within a renewable energy device. So if you take the prime mover as the, um, as the moving part that extracts your energy, the electrical, uh, uh, the electrical generator then converts that from mechanical energy into electrical energy. And the power converter is needed to uh, then convert the variable uh, voltage and frequency from this electrical generator into a fixed voltage and frequency in order to connect to the electrical network, which is represented by the grid there. So my main area of interest is looking at the two blocks in the middle. So it's mainly the interaction between the electrical generator and the power converter as well, and how the power converter is able to influence the behavior of the electrical generator, which then in turn influences the, beha the behavior of the prime mover as well. So by controlling the generator using the power converter stage, you're able to control the prime mover and control the amount of power you're actually able to extract from your resource, be it wind, be it tidal, or be it uh, wave. Um, and of course the power converter, because it's connected to the grid side, also has an influence the other way towards the grid as well. It influences the amount of power that you're able to generate into the grid and influences the power quality that is generated into the grid as well. So that's my main area of interest and um, for this we're looking at uh, various ways of controlling the power converter to try to maximize the amount of energy you can extract, to try to limit the amount of energy you can extract for various reasons. For example, if the waves are too large, if the wind is blowing too hard for instance, you want to make sure you can limit that. Um, and also looking at um, different ways of integrating the uh, renewable energy device into the grid as well for an on-grid system and also for off-grid off systems as well. So we take power, converter, uh, power conversion as the area at the center of my research, then obviously this has a number of applications and uh, these are the main applications that I'm working in. So on the left hand side you have uh, wave energy, tidal and also wind and broken down into smaller chunks we have hybrid systems, energy storage, condition monitoring and also high voltage DC networks as well. <coughs> and this has led me to work with a number of companies so uh, this is uh, part of the interesting uh, part of the work that I do is that you get to work with industry so that you know that the research you do is actually uh, applicable to industry. Uh, so we've got um, technology developers such as Alberturn for wave energy, Andritz, Hydro Hammerfest, Tidal Turbines, and also Gaia Wind, which uh, um, they develop small, small wind turbines. We have um, uh, testing and also consultancy companies such as the Catapult, the offshore Catapult, and also uh, certification companies as well, such as Lloyd's Register and also DNVGL. So if any of this research is of interest to you, then I'm quite happy to have a chat with you or feel free to contact me as well. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.